Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me on this Friday. Today I want to talk to you about something that is in the news all the time right now, and that is the nation of Israel. Let's talk about that on Something Deeper. The nation of Israel has gotten to be a real hot button topic lately, and it has been for a long time, but even more so after October 7th, when terrorists from, from the Gaza Strip entered into Israel and massacred a number of people in Israel. And Israel has responded by going in in force militarily into Gaza and trying to destroy the Hamas network. And a lot of people even before Israel responded, were protesting Israel. And it's, it's interesting to me how a people can be so hated that they are blamed and attacked for being the victim of a terrorist attack. Before Israel did anything in response, people were protesting in Sydney and in Europe and in America, shouting death to Israel, and that Palestine will be free from the river to the sea, which basically means the nation of Israel should be wiped off the map. And I guess part of it is that there are some people who divide the world into oppressors and oppressed. And for example, these are the people that no matter where you have a meeting, they'll say, this meeting is being held on stolen land and talk about the history of uh, European settlers coming in and taking over land that once belonged to Native Americans. And they look at Israel in the same way, that the Jewish people stole the land in Israel, which is far from the truth, but we don't have, de we don't have time to go into all the details of the history. It's just interesting to me that for some people, the narrative is always that Jewish people are bad. I thought we had seen the end of that when after World War II, everyone knew that anti-Semitism was one of the defining characteristics of Nazism. And we fought a terrible war to destroy that philosophy where the, where the Germans and the Nazi regime had killed six million Jews along with four million others in the concentration camp and millions of others in battle and famine and everything else because of the war. I thought maybe people realized this hatred of Jews is irrational. But I think there's a lot of it that's envious. Now, there are some people who have a victim mentality that any people that is successful, they're going to hate. How should Christians respond to this? Now, I want to say this. Obviously, the vast majority of Jewish people do not believe in the Christian faith. Although, the number of those who do is growing, and it's a large proportion of people who are Jewish. They, they call themselves Messianic Jews or completed Jews because they believe that their Messiah has come, and their Messiah is Jesus. But even then, the, the majority do not believe, and so we do not have the same faith as they do. However, I believe as Christians, even though we may not agree with them, we should have a healthy respect and gratitude for them taking the Word of God and preserving it through centuries and millennia so that we can know God today. And Jesus was a Jew, and all of his disciples were Jews. Sometimes the New Testament has been used to foster and gin up uh, anti-Semitism. Of course, people will use religion for all sorts of terrible things. That doesn't mean it's a bad religion. That just means people are bad and they'll use anything they can for bad things. But we as Christians should have a gratitude and kinship with our Jewish brothers and sisters. And, and we can pray that they would come to know Jesus. But in the meantime, we should be standing up for them when they're being attacked all around the world. Genesis 12, one through three says, the Lord said to Abram, go from your country, your people, 
and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. The Bible teaches that the Jews are God's chosen people. And a lot of non-Jews get real upset with that, that. That sounds like favoritism. But in reality, God chose the Jewish people to be a blessing to all peoples on the earth. And so we should be grateful that God has used them for this purpose, sometimes at very great cost to themselves, as we talked about in World War II and in many other times when Jews have been irrationally uh, attacked and many times killed just for who they are. We have a responsibility to stand up against anti-Semitism. That does not mean that we believe that everything that the Israel nation and the Israel government does is always good. I don't believe that about any country. But it does mean that it is evil to hate a people just for being a people. Deuteronomy 7.6 says this, You are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. The Jewish people are precious to God. They should be precious to us as well. Let's stand up against the anti-Semitism we see all around us today. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would be with the Jewish people. I pray, Father, that, that they would be safe that they would know that there are those who love them and, and care for them and believe that they should have every right to live and enjoy life that anyone else has. I pray also, Lord, that they would come to know you deeper, that you would reveal yourself to them by your Spirit. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. I love you, and I hope everything's going well for you. Take care.